What's going on guys, Mr. Ladd here, Million Reflections Luxury Automotive Detailing. We're on the job today and uh, we're trucking along over here. And for the first time in months after months, I'm actually pulling out this product again. HD Speed, who remembers this stuff? I haven't heard anybody talking about it in a long time and yet it's such an easy to use product and such a great product. Um, I, wanted to guys, I wanted to kind of take you in a little bit as to what I'm working with here. I'm working with a 2014 Chevy Cruze and uh, we've washed it. Uh, we did a deep wash here. I, I did a uh, high alkaline wash with, uh, with the foam cannon, washed it and all that, clayed it, it's done. Now it's time to go over. I see this car once here and work. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a quick all-in-one correction, glaze, protection. For those of you who do not know what HD Speed is now known as 3D Speed, it is an all-in-one correction glaze with Montan wax inside of it. Montan is simply, instead of it being carnauba based where it comes from the Brazilian palm, what it's extracted from is from uh, from, from fossil like like fossils almost like that the charcoal from the mines it's it's exported and, and it's taken and extracted from underground and uh, what it allows us to do is Carnuba has a 160 to 180 temperature melting point where Montan has a 200 to 220 temperature uh, Fahrenheit melting point so the the heat is a little bit higher resistant especially now that we're getting into the summer months something like this is pretty good and so I'm gonna go ahead and use it but we're not just using this product I want to also show you this buff and shine maroon five inch maroon pad is from the Euro pad line it is reticulated foam, which basically means that it is a low density foam as well as it is open cell. So it, uh, yeah, it's an open cell, it's porous, it has open pores. So how can you tell what that means? Basically, you've seen a lot of people do the test where you blow into it and it comes out the other end of the pad and you can feel it, it being uh, your, your breath leaving the pad instead of just sticking, staying in there. Um, and another way to tell is squeeze it and see how long does it take for it come back it's pretty much bouncing up almost instantly because it's open cell it's gonna go straight back to formation a dense pad might stay in a little bit longer uh, at least in my my experience I'm not a scientist here but that's my experience with these pads and so it's a pretty cool pad this is the maroon pad making it a medium cut buff and shine pad and they're pretty easy to use I like them I actually have not used this specific pad but I have used a few other buff and shine pads you've seen me use the microfiber pads and they're pretty good I like them and so first thing I'm gonna do before I assess this, I have not touched it yet. I have not taken any HD speed to the to the car yet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply HD speed. Wow, it's been that long since I've used it. Where the the, the nozzles all clogged up. That's awesome. <laughs> so let's go ahead and apply it on here. Man, this this nozzle is clogged up. 3D. I hope you really changed this up. Although it has been some months since I've used it. I really hope you change it. There you go. Let's. Oh, this is horrible for, oh, got it, okay, good, good, good. Now let's go ahead, I'm gonna prime the pad. Because this is an open cell pad, and because these products have uh, wax in it, they are hydrophobic by nature, meaning that if I go ahead and prime the pad with water, uh, I, I don't know if it'll do any good. So, with that being said, priming the pad, I'm using way too much product, but it's okay, because I don't use this product at all, honestly. I feel so bad, but, uh, it's actually good in certain situations. I love it on white cars and I love it in the summertime. So when I get jobs in the summer, all-in-one jobs, then I'll, I'll pull out this product. Um, but if not, then if it's if it's good weather out, then I'll use different products. So let's go ahead and let's just let's just get, get right to it, guys. The, the pad's primed and we're going to go ahead and we're going to assess. I'm going to find myself a little working space. So I'm going to kind of spread the product out within the little working space. La da dee, la da da. And it's game time. I'm gonna move it up to speed setting five. Now, I'm not doing this conventional. Obviously, it's not conventional. But the reason why is because of the actual space of the car I'm working on. So, the objective is to get some correction, a little correction if possible. It's gonna fill some of the scratches, but it's also gonna protect the paint. My biggest concern is protecting the paint. But it will fill in and correct some scratches and blemishes. Okay. 
So we went ahead, we did a couple passes, a couple awkward passes. I've got, you've seen this towel before, I've got it. We're removing the product. And my polisher fell. Look at that. And so, if you were to feel it, it feels very smooth in comparison to the unprotected surface. It's a white car, so the camera's not going to really pick up swirls and scratches, but it works very well. Now, I'm noticing some residue left behind. So that means I've got to remove it. I didn't remove all the residue, but the scratches have been diminished, and now the car has protection on it. So, you know, 3D speed or HD speed, whatever, a lot of detailers, you guys know about this product and it's been a staple in the community for, a, for, a, for quite a while. And so why don't I use it all the time? Why is this a product that I do not, it's not, why is it not my go-to product? Reason why is because recently um, other products have come out and when I'm in the winter and I have more time, more working time on a vehicle and I don't have to worry about the product flashing immediately, um, I can use different products, or I can use something that may not correct as quick, but the protection is longer lasting. So Playmaker by PNS, that's a great product. I like that for cooler environments. I use I use HD speed in hotter summer conditions, spring summer conditions, uh, because now you know we're at about eight, we're at about somewhere on 80 degrees, and uh, you know obviously I'm working in the shade, thankfully, but you know if I was working outside. The product would dry up on me and now I have a lot more awkward conditions to work with. I have to be very, very careful. And HD Speed works very well in the sunlight. It's very, very sun friendly. Um, if you use it inside, of course, you can apply, you can buff the whole vehicle uh, or you can apply, buff and work the whole vehicle and then remove the product from the vehicle afterwards. You can let it sit there. That's what's cool about this product. Some all-in-ones you cannot do that. And so, um, I, I, I happen to be a fan of HD Speed and its appropriate conditions, and now going in the summer months, I do happen to like it. Like I said, it's a Monton wax product, so um, it, it's a little bit of a higher heat resistance. Another reason why I'm going for, for that one, something that is heat resistant. Um, and it's just, mainly, it's just because it's so easy to use. That's why I like it, especially in the summer months. Uh, and that being said, guys, if you have any questions about this product, this is a very, very brief overview. I'm gonna do one more section over here. I'll leave, I'll do the bottom, the bottom door area. I'll take you down a little bit, and you can kind of see how I use it towards the bottom. And uh, guys, it's very easy to use. It's also a very affordable product. Uh, HD Speed is not expensive at all. I wish the protection lasted a long time, time-wise, but it does have high heat resistance, so that's good. Oh, new move. It spread it out because if not, I'm a hack, right? So as I've said before, this is the, an all-in-one correction glaze, and so the theory behind these correction glazes, especially with the HD line or the 3D line, is the more you work it in the panel, the more correction you do, the less you work it in the panel, the more filling you do, because it's a glaze. So it's going to fill scratches. People say, oh, 3D doesn't, or HD speed doesn't fill in scratches, that's baloney, yes it does. Now the more you work it in the panel, it's going to fill less and correct more, because now you're correcting all the scratches, so it's harder to fill in. But that being said, you are, it, it, there's wax in it. It's going to fill scratches, guys. Let's be, let's use our common sense and use good judgment. You're going to fill scratches. If you're looking for pure correction, do not go to this product. You're going to fill in something. Maybe not much because you work it in good and depending on your pad choice, but you're going to fill it in. Now, what I like about this pad the, the buff and shine pad is that as I went ahead and I primed the pad, it is holding on. Now this may not look anything different, but you can see the foam, you can see the cells are open, you can see every individual end to the cell. What that means is that it's holding on to the product. Some people don't like that. 
Uh, if I'm compounding or polishing and doing paint correction, I want to I want as much of the product to get to the panel as possible. But if I'm doing a correction glaze and something like this, I'm okay. I like having products spread well and be thin. In correction, I need to make sure I'm using as much of the liquid abrasive as possible because that is also acting as a safety precaution, meaning I'm not going to dry buff, I'm not going to mar paint as as easy or as, as, as quickly as maybe some other pads or other products or whatever. But for a all-in-one product, the reticulated foam holds the all-in-one polish very, very well. I find it's easy to spread the wax and I find it's easy to work with. So that being said, guys, I just wanted to kind of give you a quick little review and a quick little introduction to some of these products. Oh, oh, awesome. Justin Lobato's calling me right now. That's awesome. Um, if you guys don't know Justin Lobato, actually, he is a Buff and Shine. I think he's actually over Buff and Shine to represent I think he's the Buff and Shine representative or something. He does a lot of training. He does a lot of things. He's a great guy. Go check him out. He doesn't have a YouTube channel, but you'll see him traveling with Flex, Buff and Shine. He's the, he was the IDA president for some time. And yeah, great guy. Really, really appreciate him. He does a lot for the detailing community. Um, but with that being said, the Buff and Shine pad is very, very easy to use, very, very well. Uh, it, it's just a great pad, and I enjoy using it. So once again, guys, Mr. Lad over here, we're signing out. Uh, thank you for checking out the video. Please like, share, subscribe for more content. And uh, we're going to be doing some more stuff in the future. I would like to pump out more content, give more videos, and more of my experience. But if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see in specific, oh, drop my towel. can't use that anymore. Um, Anything in specific you'd like to see, go ahead and let me know. Leave a comment below, like, share, subscribe. And guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. You guys have a wonderful week. Take care.